I am at Crump's All Tram Stop. And, at least when this video goes out, it's Christmas. And of course, it's the moment I begin filming that it begins raining. But anyway, if you were a review of the channel at this time last year, you'll know I did a thing on Mersey Rail known as the Christmas Challenge, where I spelt out the word Christmas by visiting certain stations on the network to spell out the word Christmas using the first letters of the station's names, or the first two if they were in consecutive order. So here we are now again for the next Christmas Along, where instead of doing it on Mersey Rail, I've decided to do it again, but on the Manchester Metrolink. So I'm currently at Crumpsall, so you can guess why I'm here. It begins with the letter C. So, that's the letter C ticked off from Christmas already, so uh, let's go and tick off some more. And we'll hopefully eventually get the whole word done. Alright, so we're on the platform, and so we're going to have to get a northbound service towards Bury um, to go to Heaton Park to tick off the letter H. And I will also clarify too while I'm at it, I'm not trying to do the challenge in the fastest time possible, I'm just trying to just do it at all, because if I did try and do it in the fastest time possible, I'd be bound to just the Manchester Airport line, and yeah, that would be a bit dull. Anyway, next tram is in four minutes, and it's a double, so that's nice. Okay, and there goes Boca Vale, so we're going to go two stops to Heaton Park. Another reason I chose to do uh, the beginning of this challenge on the Berry branch is that the uh, trams are every six minutes as opposed to every 12 on uh, most other lines. So yeah, it's a bit faster pace, which will be nice. This is a seven. Okay, Heaton Park, that ticks off the H. Um, so now the next letter is R, which we will be doing using Radcliffe. Oh no way, I never noticed this at this stop. There's a pole with original Metrolink blue on it. These are becoming increasingly rare. And already there's only two minutes now until the next tram. This is great. The Berry Branch is nice with its frequency. I do like it. Is the clipper ticket a new thing? Because I've never heard of that before. Might be a new B network thing. I'm not really uh, up to date with all the B network stuff as of late. <laughs> all right, so while I said while I was at uh, Heaton Park, we'll be taking this tram to Radcliffe for letter R. Once I've actually um, been to Radcliffe, that will mean I'll have been through, at least, every station on the Berry line, you know, Altrincham to Berry, except Berry. I'm, like, mildly infuriating, I will have to come back here again later. And then goes Whitefield, so the next stop is Radcliffe. Okie dokie, Radcliffe. So, uh, we now have to switch to the other platform. Okay, well, um, this tram actually arrived so soon I didn't actually get to explain the plan. It arrived the moment I got to the platform. Um, but yeah, so we've done CH and R. So the next letter is I. But there is only one stop on the whole Metrolink that begins with I. Imperial War Museum. So we're going to have to go to Imperial War Museum now. We can say our farewells to the, uh, the Berry Line. So Imperial War Museum is on the Trafford Centre branch. Uh, so we'll need to change at either Deansgate or Cornbrook. Do they go to Deansgate? I think they do, yeah. Um, so yeah, one of those two. Going to the centre of Manchester now. Won't be far to uh, change the Trafford line. Change Square, Alderman Rochdale, National Dean's Gate Castle Field. So let's um, 
go and find wherever the hell the next Trafford Centre tram is. <laughs> and that was fairly easy. There's a tram right there on another platform. Okay, let's uh, let's switch. Absolutely blowing a gale today as well. I'm glad I got a haircut. <laughs> Right then, let's uh, go to Imperial War Museum. All right, off we go on a um, a very squeaky tram. God, this tram got very busy the moment we went through Cornbrook. Wow, it's more than full and standing now. Okay, the next stop is Imperial War Museum. Nice! Okay, Imperial War Museum, that is the letter I done. Now, for the next place, we're going to finally get a nice little double letter whammy one. Um, we're going to go to St. Werburgh's Road. Now, while I do know that um, St. Peter's Square is probably a closer one with S&T, um, St. Werburgh's Road will allow me to get subsequent ones a bit quicker. God, it's windy. <laughs> so, yeah, we will need to go directly back to Cornbrook and then we'll have to hop on, um, I think it can be Manchester Airport or East Didsbury. I think both of them go to St. Werbeck's Road. The tram going back into Manchester is a uh, lot less busy than it was coming out of Manchester, so uh, that's always quite nice. All right, already the uh, next stop is Cornbrook, so um, we'll need to change if we want to go to St. Weber's Road. It'll have to be either East Didsbury or Manchester Airport. Both go through Cornbrook, so we'll get the first one. Darn, we just missed an East Didsbury. Okay, well, whatever. We'll just wait a couple more minutes. Okay, I think the next one after that Eccles tram that just left is East Didsbury, because it says East Didsbury in one minute. So, uh, actually not that long of a wait at all, really. Oh no, never mind, no, it was Altrincham. My bad. The one after that's East Didsbury. I'm not going to stop talking about the wind, either. No, now this one is Trafford Centre. Where's the East Didsbury one? This East Didsbury service has been a minute away for about five minutes now. This is ridiculous. God, finally, that was, uh, that was a hell of a time. I was being teased. Anyway, just four stops to St. Worries Road. Shouldn't be too long. We've just left Furswood, and I've got a seat now. Yes. Alright, St. Werburgh's Road, that'll be our first, uh, well, no, not, not, will be, it is, our first, uh, double whammy. So, now we will get this Manchester Airport tram that's coming right now. So, the best part about this now is that that's not going to be our first double whammy, but we're now going to have a second one in a row, <coughs> by going to Martin's Croft for M and A. I still do not understand, though, putting advertisement livery over windows. Not only is it a pain to film out of, because the camera keeps auto-focusing on the livery, but also it just makes the view not very nice. I forget how slow this line feels, just because it's so, like, twisty and bendy and has a lot of on-street running. Alright, at last, Martin's Croft is the next stop. And Martin's Croft ticks off both M and A, leaving us with just one letter left, and that is S. And we're going to do that by basically just going directly back to Sail Water Park on a tram that is in one minute. Hooray! This is a service to Victoria Fire Market. 
So it's six stops on the surface to Sail Water Park. And that's it, let's rest on. And that's the whole world complete. Even though I've gone along completely the same stretch of track again, it's felt a lot quicker, this bit, for some reason. I don't know why. Here we are, Sail Water Park. We've done it. Well, this, uh, this stop seems to be in an interesting place. We're right next to, I think, the M60, and there's a golf course here. Cool. So anyway, there we are with my uh, second rendition of the Christmas challenge. Last year we did it on Mersey Rail, this year we did it on the Manchester Metrolink. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe. And, uh, yeah, have a good Christmas. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. And of course, a huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. Merry Christmas to all of you. Have a good day. Hope you get nice stuff. <laughs> yeah. See you next time. Bye.